Every week I get out here to bring you three homes on market that are available here in Butte County. This week, I'm gonna stay on the southeast side of Chico to show you a few of these homes and share with you a few of the amenities that are also on this side of town as well. I'm Sierra Haskins with the NorCal Life Real Estate Group. Let's just jump right in. The neighborhoods in the southeast side of Chico, where I am right now, primarily consist of California Park, um, Canyon Oaks, Doe Mill, Little Chico Creek Estates, Heritage Oaks, and now Miriam Park as well. It's a huge area that includes all types of housing options from more affordable apartments all the way up to million dollar homes in a gated community. And honestly, pretty much everything in between. So when it comes to schools, this area is really well situated and all of today's homes are gonna be pretty close to either Marigold Elementary School or Little Chico Creek Elementary, which are both really highly rated. So if you have elementary school kids, those are gonna be your schools. If you have older kids, Marsh Junior High School is just a short drive away, as is Chico High School, and both are known for their strong academic programs as well. Now for shopping, um, shopping options in this area of town, no matter what neighborhood you're in, you're gonna be a quick drive to the Chico Mall, um, Hobby Lobby, Target, Old Navy, Best Buy, there's some Starbucks down there. That's what we're gonna be the closest to for shopping. For groceries, you're gonna be both near um, Winco and Raley's, so you can grab anything you need. And for restaurants in this area of town, you're gonna to be right close to just a couple minutes drive to Farmer's Brewing Company, Rion Italian Restaurant, which has amazing calzones, Bourbon Kitchen that has incredible roast beet salad and their bruschetta is just to die for, really. And Namasake, which is a sushi restaurant that is completely raved about here in Chico. So we also have lots of other smaller, more casual spots to go, like Day Camp Coffee, Live Life Juice Company, the Handlebar Bar is down there, um, and everyone's favorite, which right now is Savor Ice Cream Shop. You absolutely have to check that out. So this part of Chico really offers a balance to our community between um, shopping and amenities and just convenience. So whether you're here for schools, restaurants, local businesses, you've really got everything right here on the southeast side of Chico. Now, with that being said, let's go check out three great homes on market this week that are close to everything I just mentioned. The first house this week is for Princess TJ Court here in California Park. Now, a little trivia fact for you, this was actually the very first house I ever did an open house on back when I got my real estate license. So for nostalgia, if nothing else, I picked this one for today. It is a four bedroom, two bath home that's 2,309 square feet, and it's currently priced at $565,000. Built in 1990, it sits on a quarter acre, just a couple blocks from the private lakes and walking trails here in Cal Park. Now, right through the door, you're gonna notice that there's 10 foot ceilings throughout the entire home. There's a dining room table area with a brick fireplace and a living area to the side. And then through the kitchen, there's an additional family room area that has built in bookshelves. The home is split, so the primary suite is off the living room area, and the other bedrooms are down the hallway near the family room side, so it's got a great setup. The backyard to this home is also very low maintenance, but it has enough space that you could really kind of create a great space and utilize that area for maybe a garden, a play area, maybe even put in a hot tub. It definitely has potential back there. So the home has a three car garage with an additional 550 square foot loft above it. So you could use it for storage or maybe a workspace. But something to note about this home is that it does have a pretty steep driveway and a staircase up to the house. So if you have mobility issues or anything of that nature, it is something to know ahead of time but it's in a great location on a cul-de-sac, so there's no traffic coming through, and it might really be a great option to consider. So here you go for four Princess TJ Court. Now let's go check out today's next home that has two primary suites.
The next home today is 1981 Belgium Avenue. Now this home is four bedrooms, three baths, and it's 1,821 square feet. Built in 2000, this home sits in the Doe Mill neighborhood and is priced at $459,000. Now when you step inside this home, you're gonna see the high vaulted ceilings and an open living room area that really feels inviting with the dining room table space and the kitchen right off to the left in its own space. It has a good amount of counter space, lots of storage in the kitchen, and a little breakfast bar for either quick snacks or coffee or visiting right there in the kitchen. The primary suite is located on the ground floor and the other is upstairs. So it's perfect if you are either hosting long-term house guests that might want their own space, or even if you are considering multi-generational living if that's what you're looking for. Now, both have big closets, walk-in showers in the bathrooms, so full primaries in this home, which is really kind of unusual and definitely sought after. The other two bedrooms are also downstairs and are comfortable size too. Now, this home is on a smaller lot, so there's not really room in the backyard for a pool or a large garden, but definitely enough space to relax with your morning coffee or to barbecue with friends. Now, a huge bonus to this home is that it does come with owned solar, which can potentially make a big difference with your utility bill. So I will say, now this home is really close, like, like really close to Rion Italian restaurant. It's just down the street. So if it was me and I was living here, I would be in big trouble because I would be walking there a couple times a week. So if you love Italian food, it's right down there. A great home with two primaries. It might be one for you. All right, one more to go with a super low maintenance set of yards. The last home on this week's tour here in Chico is right here at 2154 Bar Triangle Street. This is a remodeled four bedroom, two bath home that's 1,407 square feet and it's priced at $450,000. Now the upgrades in this home are beautiful. It has a pretty good sized kitchen with black granite countertops and matching appliances. There's tons of storage space in the kitchen and it has luxury vinyl plank flooring it's open right into the living room area that has vaulted ceilings, which really makes it feel more roomy and welcoming. Now the primary bedroom in this home is a good sized and it has a dual sink vanity as well as a walk-in shower. All of the bedrooms are on one side of the home with the visiting space on the other in this one, so it is not split. Now, something to note about this property is that the front and the back are low to really no maintenance as they are both totally paved so no grass to mow or weeds to think about. Now, that might be an issue for you if you have fur babies or if you want a yard space, um, or if you're looking for a backyard for kids play area. But with that, it could also be a great place to, for kids to ride their trikes around, color with sidewalk talk, or to do container gardening if that's your thing. So it could go both ways with this home, but a good possibility if you're looking for a comfortable four bedroom home. So, that's it for this week's tour in Chico of homes on the southeast side. I'm Sierra Haskins with the NorCal Life Real Estate Group, and if you would like to talk with me about buying or selling a home here in the Butte County area, reach out to me anytime, and I would love to see how I could be of help. All of my contact information is right here in the video's description below. Now, if one of these houses isn't what you're looking for, please subscribe and get your notifications turned on as I do a property tour each week covering homes here in the Butte County in the Butte County area. And another one that I might cover might be the one that you are looking for. So you can also head over to our Facebook page and our Instagram pages where we cover all things real estate, community events, hotspots, and more. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week.